What's going on YouTube? So with today's video, let's dive into a brand that really does not get any mention, except for maybe from myself. It's from an Italian brand that does, this brand is more known in Italy, but also Europe. Not so much over here, and I wish that a lot of you guys would get on board with this brand because this brand produces some really solid scents at a good price. The Italian brand of Trussardi, and today we're gonna to be talking about Amber Oud. So this scent was actually launched in 2016 and is classed as an oriental woody. The note breakdown according to Fragantica, top notes can be elmi resin, pink pepper, geranium, and lemon with the mid being oud or agarwood. Incense in benzoin in the base is leather, patchouli, vetiver, and amber. So what do I get out of this scent here? Don't want to spray it because this really does linger quite a bit. So the sillage is actually really good. Let's just say that, okay? In the opening, I get woods, incense, and a very resinous amber. This scent in the opening, the first couple hours, because that, that opening really lasts a couple hours, I should say, is really difficult to get through. It's really challenging to my nose. But after like hour two, three tops, this turns into a beautiful scent. There's not a lot of development, so what you get is that you still get that smoky incense. You get an amber, a resinous amber. You get the woods, and you get that oud and a slight leather. The oud in this is not dirty, it's not animalistic. Maybe it is in the opening because, oh lord, the, the hour, like hour two to three is challenging. But after that, it becomes this beautiful, seductive, warm, rich, masculine scent. At one time that this was considered unisex, maybe it is, but I find that this really is a very masculine, mature, classy type of fragrance that also has a bit of a bad boy edge. So this has that gentleman's vibe, but a bad boy can wear this very easily and be that bad boy, that mysterious bad boy. I will also state this, that this gets a lot of comparisons to Ferrari Essence Oud or Oud Essence, according to people on Fragrantica. I can't confirm nor deny that because I have not smelled that one in four years. Last time I believe I smelled that was November of 2016 when I was in England visiting the guys and I ended up giving my small little mini bottle of Ferrari Essence Oud to what's seen from the channel, Handsome Smells. This, however, is definitely one to look into. This will suit best for winter and fall. Longevity on this is fantastic, nine to 10 hours, and projection is moderate to heavy, so less is more. I do three sprays. Really, I do one spray, to be honest, because when I was testing this, it was on this arm for the last week. I've worn this for the last five days. I'm not wearing anything today because I'm gonna be filming some videos with my wife and I wanna get her, her take. Wife's take on this one, however, I didn't ask her because I know that she would not like this one. The dry down perhaps, but I didn't wanna risk her nose. My wife just does not like oud in the slightest bit, for the most part. She has smelled some good ones, but I know for a fact that the opening is not gonna do her anything. The dry down, perhaps. Versatility? Very good, but I think that this would be more so suited for an older gentleman, 35, 40. If you're a guy in his 20s, you could wear it, but it just has that masculine, not that I'm saying that you know 20 year olds are not masculine, but it has that mature vibe to it. it has, this smells like someone who has life experience. Most 20 year olds don't, unless they have like that, they, they were in the military or they grew up from humble beginnings. But this just smells like someone who has life experience, money, even though th this does not cost a lot of money. How much does this cost? 35 to $40 USD. That's 45 to $50 Canadian. That's how much I spent for this one here. And I, only, and I only ended up getting this one because of Ashen from the channel Jensen's. He said that this is a high quality oud at a very economical price. And I'm gonna have to agree. So final thoughts of Trussardi Amber Oud. I could smell it from the atomizer. From the atomizer, this smells fantastic. If you like Oud, this is one you're gonna have to look into. If you like challenging, artistic, dirty, barnyard type of Ouds, 
then no. This is more of a mass appealing type of oud. But as I said, the first couple hours were not working for my nose at all. It was very challenging. So maybe if you like challenging ouds, maybe that first hour, two hours might be for you. Then afterwards, you're probably going to want to scrub it off because it, it becomes a lot more sensuous, a, a lot more easier to wear, especially for bitches like myself who, who can't take oud. The performance is excellent. The price tag is excellent. If you want a good masculine scent, a good signature scent that's versatile and won't break the bank, I highly recommend that you look into this one here, Trusardi. This is a brand, guys, that needs to get looked into. The only people that I've ever seen mention this on their channel is George from The Fragrance Apprentice. Ashton mentioned this one here. Ashton also mentioned Riflesso Blue Vibe. I've talked about eight to 10 Trusardi fragrances, and the person who, who got me into the brand is Scentland, Chris himself. Chris, if you haven't checked this one out, this one I think that you'll like because you do like vintage, classy, and masculine scents. This is something I think that you'll like. So guys, that is my quick little take. Almost forgot the rating for this one here. Because of the first two hours, yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a four out of five. This would get a higher rating. This would probably get like a four and a half if it wasn't for the first two to three hours. Other than that, this is a sensational scent. It's, a, it's still a solid scent. Four to five, can't go wrong with that. So guys, we have officially come to the end. Now we are done. Trusardi Amber Oud. This is one you gotta look into. So if you wanna check out other great Trusardi fragrances, all the links, all the, re all the reviews that I've done in the description below. If you want to check out some other great winter fragrances, check out this side here. And if you want to check out some smelling rights, whether it be with my wife or other guests, check out this side here. Guys, if you like this very video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you're new to this channel. I thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.